Yeah, Brandon, they're just starting to turn the lights off here at CenturyLink Field. Now, I spoke with multiple players after the game, and they're all in agreement. I talked with rookies, veterans, offense, defense, special teams, all saying they're devastated because they did not finish this game. The Green Bay Packers established the fast start they talked about all week, heading into halftime with a 16-point lead and clearly holding the momentum as Russell Wilson only had two complete passes for 12 yards and two interceptions. Obviously, when you're up like that and you get the ball back, um, you, know, you want to put your foot on the gas and uh, end the game. And you know, We had multiple opportunities, and we didn't cash in. A decent second half went down the drain for the Packers after a Seahawks touchdown. They have to go for the onside kick. Tight end Brandon Bostic's job was to block, but instead went for the catch, and he missed. The Hawks go on to score another touchdown, get the two-point conversion to tie the game and force overtime. We were sitting out on the sidelines, too. We know it's going to be momentum swings. We know it's going to be a roller coaster ride. We know things are going to happen. We never, for a second, you know, uh, didn't, didn't believe that we were going to win the game. I expected to win the game. We are positioned to win the game. And... Um, but that's that, that's football, you know. Uh, we had we had opportunities to get that thing done, and um, we came up a little short. The Packers discover that rock bottom has a basement. In overtime, it takes Russell Wilson and the Seattle Seahawks 3:19 to score the sudden death game-winning touchdown and move on to the Super Bowl. I'm at a loss for words, you know. Uh, to be so close, to be right here, and see everything that you've worked your butt off for. Uh, to get to this point and um, you know, not be able to capitalize on your opportunity. You know, your, your opportunities come a few, few and far between, and uh, we didn't get done what we needed to get done. Devontae Adams says he's ready to get back to work now and start all over. Reporting live from CenturyLink Field in Seattle, I'm Lauren Majera, Newsline 9 Sports.